Hello, my name is Max, and today I'll be uh, doing this tutorial on how to make videos with uh, your Linux system. So let's get started. Um, to make a video with your Linux uh, computer or system or operating system, you just need a, a screencasting or video uh, making software. And one for Linux that we're going to go over today, it's going to be uh, Kazam. That's K-A-Z-A-M. Or to spell it phonetically, it's going to be Kilo Alpha Zulu Alpha Michael. Um, for most, for most uh, Debian systems, uh, you can get the Kazam uh, package from the repositories. So there are several ways that you can download it. Uh, let me show you how to do that now. Uh, one of the ways, the way that I like to do it is through the command line. So, and I, first you want to look for it and see if it's in there. It is, but if you need to, you just do a sudo apt uh, cache search and then the name of the package which for us is going to be Kazam press enter put in your password and there's a description right there Kazam it's a screen screencast and a screenshot application um, you can capture screenshots is what it means um, and then to install it from the command line, you just uh, enter the command sudo at get install and then the package name. Now, I already have it installed. Just one other thing. If you want to install it without having to answer any questions, you can put in a minus Y. And then that'll go ahead and completely install it without asking you, are you sure you want to install it? But anyway, that's how you would install it from the command line. And then, of course, the other way is to do it through a GUI uh, package manager. Um, this one right here is software manager. And you just go to the uh, search box and type in the name, which is K-A-Z-A-M press enter and you see it there all right and then the other way of installing it is through your Symantec package manager and again you just go to the search box type in your package and there it is now the system that I'm using is Linux Mint 17.1 okay but you can install this on any, like I said, Debian type uh, uh, package or operating system. And then once you install it, you can open it by going to either your menu or your start menu or whatever you have and then just left clicking on it. I usually, it usually saves mine to the sound and video section. And then there you go, you just left click on it and it opens up. Um, mine is already open because I'm using it now and uh, it's it's a pretty simple uh, application to use let me see if it'll let me open it up again yeah there it is okay it's a pretty simple application to use um, if you want to do a screencast you just click on the screencast and um, choose either f full screen or window or area um, full screen is usually good enough and then uh, you want to set it to capture your mouse movements and your microphone make sure it's set to save your microphone that otherwise nobody will hear you when you start uh, making your recordings this down right here is just the amount of seconds it'll wait before it actually starts recording and then of course you got your screen cat your screenshots if you want to save any screens uh, just go to the screen that you want to say either the desktop or even online or what what have you and as soon as you do that it'll count down to five seconds 
or as soon as you put it there and then choose your mouse cursor then click capture it'll wait five seconds and then it'll go ahead and do your screenshot and then you can either set it to um, automatically save to a folder or you can set it to save to a folder if you want uh, go to file preferences screenshot and shutter sound is on shutter type which is Nikon I guess you could choose others if you want oh you just got one more either Nikon or Canon and this is where you can uh, click for it to automatically save mine is turned off and since mine is turned off that means that when um, when it does save it'll ask you where you want to save it to which fold to which folder and then for screenshot screencast let me go back here and I don't, it don't make a difference but we'll choose screencast again go to file then go to preferences and then right here for your screencast or your your uh, video making you can choose uh, the speakers you want it to go off of and the microphone I'm using an inbuilt um, a built-in microphone off of my uh, uh, computer motherboard itself um, you do that and then uh, count this is for your five second countdown you can adjust that one way or the other and then you can go over to screencast and again uh, you can choose the frame rate you can recoup you can choose how you want to record it I usually choose mp4 but of course there are other options you can choose and then again for the automatic saving of your uh, video once you're done and let's see here yeah and those are the settings that I choose alright and then you just uh, close it and then when you get ready as, as normal you just go ahead and click on capture okay um, one of the things that you really want to well one of the things that you'll have to do in order to uh, use this is number one you should have a pretty decent microphone and sound card um, it'll just help your experience be uh, a lot better especially if you're uploading this for uh, the public to view and see you want to have a decent microphone and a decent sound card um, let's see you, to get a, a decent sound card, you can go to anywhere like Newegg.com or Tiger Direct or even get one um, uh, locally. I believe the sound card that I got at the time, because I didn't want to wait for the shipping, was from Walmart. And oddly enough, it came with the, um, I think they do nowadays, it came with a microphone the one that I'm using right now so um, and um, that's what you can do there uh, as far as Kazam itself um, you can um, if you want to contribute to it's an open source um, uh, software so if you want to do any type of contributions uh, you can go here um, this is a uh, oh well no, this is information about the uh, actual software itself. Sorry about that. Um, and it just, this is uh, one of the write-ups by Ubuntu. And uh, it talks about the, the software and the fact that it's in the repositories and the versions that you can use. Now, like I said, if you don't have Ubuntu, but you have a, a Debian-type uh, operating system, this should still work. It should still be under the same repository okay and then if it's like I said uh, Kazam is an open source uh, software if you want to contribute or if you want to uh, help out and do some testing or whatever you just come on over here to Launchpad this is the um, this right here is uh, is the website and um, you can go through and uh, learn about the project and report any bugs ask any questions or like I said if you want to help out you know go ahead and give these guys a, a, a ping so that's uh 
that's it on the uh, screen um, on the screencaster Kazam um, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and I hope it helps you out thank you very much and you have a good day